Hi there folks, my name is Mike, and in this lesson in the C++ series, I'm going to show you how to set up the Linux environment so you can program C++ on Linux. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do here is just open up an empty terminal window. Again, I'm going to be doing everything on Linux through terminal. You might want to explore tools like code blocks or whatever, but for this, I just want to show you how to get a compiler so you can compile your code. Now, most folks are probably going to have a compiler called G++. And let me make this nice and big for you here. And if you go ahead and hit enter, and if you see this, you're essentially done here. <laughs> you can go away and move on to the next lesson. But wait a second here. Maybe we should explain a few of the things that you might need going forward in this series, because we want to use modern C++. So. What I want you to do at this point is just go ahead and open up the man page for G++. And if you scroll down a little bit, in fact, I'll search default. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to search for it um, here. Eventually, you'll find the different versions of the language that are available. And C++ compilers often support code that can be in different variations. So again, if I just scroll through here, and I'm going to take you on a little shortcut here, you'll see that C++14 is the actual default for this particular compiler that I have set up here. So it says right here, this is the default for C++ uh, code here. Let me highlight it here for you. Um, so just so you know, by default, if you're on my system, that's the default. So how do you know what version of G++ do you have? Well, you can do dash dash version here, and you'll see that I have version 10. That might not be true for your system. You might have G++ version 6 or 4 or some other version, or maybe you don't have it at all. So if you don't have it at all, what you'll typically want to do is just do sudo apt-get install G++. If you're on some other variation of Linux, you'll use something like yum or pacman and do a pack in, pacman install or yum install g++, the same command here. Now, often we'll want some other tools, so you might also do the build essential, and this will give you what should be a recent enough version of g++. All right, now once you've done that, you'll have g++ installed. And it's also fine if you want to use another compiler called Clang. In fact, you'll see that I don't have it here, so I can run this command in order to install the Clang compiler. Or you can go to the Clang website and install it as such here. So what I recommend for now is just to install through your package manager so you can get a version of G++ or the Clang++ compiler that's new enough for you to use. I do have some other videos you can search for if you'd like to see how to build those tools from source, but for now, don't worry about that. We're just trying to learn the C++ language. Now, the other trick I might want to show you here is let's say you do the sudo apt-get install g++ and it installs a really old version of g++ for you and you're not happy with that. Well, if I actually just type in g++ dash and hit the tab key twice, you'll see I have a bunch of different versions installed. So you can actually try uh, sudo apt-get install g++ dash 8, for instance, or 9 or 10, and see if you have the latest package for it. Again, this will usually create an alias so that you just have to type in G++ and not dash 10 every time. And again, that'll give you a new enough G++ such that the modern C++, that is version 11 and beyond, is available for you. So that's just something more for you to know, and just so you can double check and see which version of G++ you have available. Again, what I often like to do, and you'll see me do in the code throughout these lessons, is specify the actual version of the language that we want. And I want one that's at least version 11. Usually I'll be using 17 and sometimes 20 so that I can get newer features. And maybe occasionally you'll see me in the future use 23 or even 26. All right, so I think you have or will be able to get the tools that you need so you can run Linux. And again, as soon as you can type G++ and see some message like this, you'll know that you have a compiler available and ready to go. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson. Thanks for your time, folks.